Okay, this is first YouTube Live, uh, and I just wanted to do a little sneak peek. I don't even know, here's the camera here. Okay, I wanted to do a little sneak peek of some of the new Jane Davenport Mixed Media things that are, um, oh look, I can just see who's watching. This is funny, okay. Um, hi Kate. <laughs> And um, I just want to do a little sneak peek and I'm just testing the technology to see whether I should do my uh, launch of the new range, which is September 22, on YouTube Live or on Facebook Live or Instagram. There are all these choices. So I'm kind of doing a little test here and um, just to see if I like this technology. I like this because I can see questions as I'm talking, which it might be distracting for you watching, but uh, that's it's easier for me. So I'm quite liking this so far. I'll some people say Instagram. Well, I'll do Instagram as well because I kind of live there and I love Instagram. But I want to do a walkthrough of uh, the products, and there's a lot of them. So I probably will have to do a few different sessions but just to go through like why I've named certain colors certain things why different products are there because I'm not into stuff I don't just do things because I can uh, I like to create things that have value and that are, are actually helpful for creative people like myself so that's why I just wanted to just walk through what those things are how things came to be you know why colors are certain colors uh, because all of those things are important in that design stage anyway I am going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you some stuff and uh, do a little bit of a bit of art with you so if you are somewhere where you have some watercolor or a pencil or pen join in with me so I'm going to flip the camera <laughs> Ooh. and uh, have it set up here so as you can see this is one of the new creatures super excited about it so these were the first two and I've got one of my rub-ons on uh, here this is the bright palette which has got the oh and there's a new little creature uh, this says um, the bright colors and obviously so this has got the cool primaries this is the neutral or the warm palette has warm primaries lots of colors neutral colors that we can mix to mix up just about every skin tone in the known universe uh, as well as uh, gray tones as well and a nice uh, neutral so that's those ones and you can see i've decorated with rub-ons and i have laminated my a little swatch card then I can actually use the surface to um, paint on as well to mix colors and also it doesn't get ruined like this one which I allowed to get wet lesson learned right there and this is the new one I mean, for a start the color is gorgeous it's called the glitzy palette and the colors, I don't have many greens in the other one. This is, I think of it as a mermaid palette, but you can use it for <laughs> painting anything, especially a lot of landscapes as well. So it's got all of these greens, got re uh, ranging from a malachite down to a very neutral green. And um, these uh, colors up here are in the primary range, they're super pigmented beautiful colors this blue is just a favorite blue all of the colors are named after mermaids and these are metallics so flirtatious is a bronze it's beautiful for a shimmer on skin and this is a really gorgeous deep gold uh, called alchemy and the, the shimmery, shimmery one's called flirtatious so inside I've also got another new little creature. This is my travel brush. Wait for it. <laughs> I remember how to use it. What's going on? Oh, yeah. I'm nervous. So you pull the top and look, the little brush comes out. It's called a detailer because you hold it closer to the end 
for those tiny little details. Now there are tons of brushes out there so I didn't want to do um, just brushes because this brush is something that doesn't, well I don't have one so that's why I wanted to do this one for getting little details. So I'm just going to pop that in a little bit of water but it's perfect for travel. It's just so cool. Uh, and just while we're on this I do get this question a lot. This is a based on a traditional watercolour palette. It's been around for probably 100 years. I don't know if that's true. A long time anyway. Uh, and on the back of these types of palettes, there is this ring. That is a thumb ring. So that if you're out and about painting, you can just slip your thumb in there and you've got the rest of your fingers free. So you're not having to hold the case. You can slip your thumb in the back and you've got greater control and you've got these extra fingers you can hold a rag or you could hold another brush um, tell people off <laughs> other things that you might need to do uh, this also all of my palettes are the same this tray comes right out and this is so you can keep things clean but also if you wanted to work at home you can put just all of your separate trays you can pull all of your trays out of each of your watercolour palettes and you can try it with other palettes that you have. They use, the trays will usually come out. But you could just have all of those sitting on your desk and you don't have to have this uh, tin. And then when that is empty, you do have these other mixing spaces as well. So they, they are all the features uh, of... <laughs> The thing now to get your little watercolor pans in and out I will just show you this just pull on the front lift it up and it will click out this is just a fairly soft metal probably tin at the at there and it can get bent out of shape um, you know as you're pulling um, paints in and out reorganizing things and just in daily use but to get that to go back in just you put it on this angle like that and click it back in if it doesn't click back in this is probably a little bit out of sorts so all you need to do you know if you open up your palette and one of the pans is sitting where it's not meant to be it's probably just this here just needs a little bit of a bend back into shape and then you can just click it back in um, also you've noticed that I write the names on my um, all of my pans there just to help me with referencing I do that with all of my sets no matter what brand it is uh, it just makes it easier for me to keep working now I've managed to poke that very highly pigmented color just got a little bit of towel here and I think I might do a little bit of painting what do you reckon so I'm going to use my new little water brush Bring this pot of water just over a little close. I'm just going to do something simple. I uh, might tilt my little camera up Woo. a bit just so we can see. I've got my new little colours here. So the colours, all of these things come out. They're available on my website, janedavenport.com, on Saturday. And you will start seeing them in all of the Michaels, well, most Michaels stores starting on September 22 there's 2,000 Michael stores so it takes you know a while to get everything uh, out into the world but that is when you'll see them and on this launch you will be getting um, you will be seeing them in other stores as well around uh, November so all around the world so I have no idea what I'm going to paint here first um, I'm just enjoying this color let's just see this is a color called Ariel oh I don't know if you could see that but this red is jumping into Nareed which is these are words for mermaids I'm a little bit I am a mermaid that is what I believe <laughs> or was one in a past life maybe so I'm just sort of doodling which is what I often do when I start you know I have no real Oh, yum, it's making a purple. Yum. Um, I, this is where I often start when I'm just, you know, starting to create. I might not have, I just feel like creating. I might not have uh, an exact 
idea of what I want to do. I just want to do something. Oh, yum. And then it's just mixing. I'm just going to let it do that. It's just the joy of watercolour is that it does that. It just does its own thing. You say to the watercolour, well, you know, I think I'd like, what I'd like to do is this. And then the watercolour says, oh, okay, okay. I think I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, well, I think we should do this. Wouldn't this be cool? And then you can be like, yeah, that's super awesome. Or you might be like, no, that's not quite what I imagine. Let's, and you can then reshape watercolor but it is a little bit of a collaborative process so I think this is a flower and I think this is hair and I think I'm just loving this indigo color too much for words so I'm gonna have this hair coming over her face and you know I've got this weird blob that's going to be happening just here I don't think it matters uh, I really don't think it matters I just love um, to seeing where we go the other thing I can do say that, that looks like a lot of color has popped on there so what I can do I'm just making a little I'm twisting this little bit of paper and just dabbing it in there just to help it take up some of that excess and then I can keep going but this brush has got quite a fine little point but it's got quite a bit of body to it it's not a soft watercolor brush it's got a little bit of uh, oomph and it's going to stay uh, in shape so that you can just get some little details happening so you can use a softer brush as well so I wouldn't ever just permanently use one type of brush for the rest of my life that would be really limiting uh, but I am enjoying this little one so what I am going to do though is dab this so I can get it lighter in the eye I'm having a bit of a freedom moment at the moment. Uh, well, that sort of has been a permanent thing. But <laughs> I'm preparing uh, my next online workshop and um, I've been looking at my journals from Mexico City and just all my different travel journals. And I've started working in my Frida journal again. And uh, so someone just asked, there are new watercolors where they'll be out on janedavenport.com. Uh, which is my website, but also in Michael's. So you'll be able to find these in Michael's stores. And then if you're international, um, you will be starting to see them in your favorite store. Wherever you had Jane Davenport Mixed Media the first round, uh, you'll start seeing that. So places like Art from the Heart in the UK, Hobby Workin', um, uh, on my website, we do have some of the stockers, not all of the stockers because it's hard for us to because some of them go through distributors not through um you know that one place uh so just adding in this other little eye here oh i quite like her so i've used this red this red called um ariel and i might start using some of these i might use water spirit um, just to get their ears shape in because I want the ears to be there but I don't want it to draw attention to them so I'm using a backup color these are the front line colors reds and yellows and oranges turquoises they grab attention but the little backup colors very often green is a great little backup color it's you know if I want a detail to be there but it's an, I don't want it to be a focus that's usually when I head to especially these more dull greens because we they add detail but they don't add um, their own opinion <laughs> they're quiet colors that's how I think of them so I'm just letting them join into each other and I'm just just with water in my brush I'm just going to drag some of this pigmented area up just to help give that fringe she's a little bit boy band with the hair right 
but I quite like her. I'm going to add a little bit of this colour called Sea Mist, which is like a malachite green, which is one of my favourites. But this is a very bright green without uh, being a yellow. Yellow green, which I like too, but I've got a nice yellowy green in my other set. I'm going to get a little bit of green in this eye. I've got to be careful touching that blue at the moment because it's all still very liquid and it will run everywhere. I might try and lift the camera a little. So I'm trying to get the camera angle so you can see the paint and what I'm painting. Um, I'm not saying it's a perfect system. Uh, and on my other page here, I've got some stuff that I've been showing on Instagram and it's all of my new mermaid markers. I'm going to add some crazy pink cheeks there. And I am going to change to a softer brush. Do -do -do. Just to spread that out a little, add some water to it. And if you want to uh, learn a little bit more about drawing and painting faces and this type of watercolour sketching, I did mention I've got a new workshop that is just about to be launched. I've been filming it for the past five years at all of my different uh, retreats around the world. Uh, it's called Journal de Voyage. And it's um, travel sketchbooking. And the reason that is the theme is because I do so much art when I'm traveling, but not just while the trip is on. The journal that I started while I was traveling, like the journal I'm working in, uh, it may have started or be because I was going on a journey because that seems to be a big um, creative conduit. Uh, but beyond like and I love preparing my journal before I go um, I like working on it when I get back you know like I said before I'm working again in my Frida journal from my trip to Mexico City which was I think two three years ago now really two or three it must be only two years surely which was fantastic and I'm going to use this silk colour again, which is I sort of, you know, it looks like muddy water almost. But it's so handy. And the reason, you know, I have the colours, because, you know, you can mix every colour from six colours, basically. But the reason I have these, I don't have to mix. I can look at the colour and start adding. I can mix while I'm going here. Um, I don't have to um, think about mixing color when I'm really just thinking about being creative um, gosh these colors are so pigmented I'm just so happy with them don't know if you can hear that garbage truck in the background and then I'm just going to pick up a bit of this excess I'm going to tap it just get some splashes around well, I didn't splosh very much. I have to add water to my sploshes to make them sploshier. <laughs> so I'm going to go move the camera. Woo! So you can have a little look at her from this. From the same angle that I have. She's kind of cute. Uh, so that is... I just wanted to come in and show you what I've been uh, up to. Uh, I'm working on the big new launch for everything <laughs> um, for the 22nd where I'll be showing you everything and there's 46 something like that new items tons and um, thanks for joining me on my little trial here uh, for this Facebook live and I hope that you enjoyed uh, I hope you do a little bit of painting today yourself. Oh, just gonna turn them around. That's better. That's much nicer to look at. Oh, I love watching the colours mix. And 
I shall see you on Instagram and other things. Bye.